I ate for telling my wife to calm down and stop engaging in a conversation? Ask for info as needed. I'm sure I will miss details with the character limit. Wife and I have three kids, and our last born almost did her in. She and our son were hospitalized for a week, and it was incredibly nerve wracking and traumatic. Important info. Also, the other part of important info. My wife does not like dogs, more so she doesn't like dog moms, dads, but you get my point. She has more than enough reason not to, and I will answer questions on that, but if asked in the comments. But either way, just know she has many, many reasons, and all of them are valid. As you can imagine, we do not have dogs. Never plan to either. My family is huge on animals, though, dogs especially. My parents, however, are very much so respectful of my wife's concerns when it comes to dogs around our kids, and they never, ever push the issue. My sister is the complete opposite. She has two German Shepherds, a Great Dane, and two ankle biters of some sort that are healer breed mixes. They go everywhere with her, including to her job. My wife avoids family gatherings that involve my sister, and I don't blame her. When we host at our place, the dogs are not invited, which means my sister hardly ever comes. This has caused fights in the past because my sister says we are denying her children happiness and family time. She knows about my wife's severe trauma and thinks she should just get over it, basically. My wife is in therapy, by the way. So please don't pull the your wife needs therapy lines. Anywho, we hosted dinner at our place yesterday evening and my sister decided to join for once. At some point, it got on the topic of traumatic births. My wife doesn't generally talk about hers, but my mom started asking questions. She went through a traumatic birth herself, so it was an innocent conversation. My sister continuously interjected with stories about her dog and was minimizing my wife's struggles in a way that I'm sure affected her more than me. Basically, saying, every mom goes through struggles. Even dog moms, and it's not that serious. At one point, I did tell my sister to shut the fuck up, but she kept at it. My wife full snaps, stands up from the table, slams her fists, and starts berating my sister, saying, I don't give a flying fuck about your mutts, nor do I care to hear about your imaginary struggles of being a mom when you don't have children and have never almost fucking died and lost your baby at the same goddamn time. This led to her screaming at my sister to get out of the house and told her she had better never show her face here again. I have never seen my wife like this. It was clearly bottled for a long time. Everyone was silent. I told my wife to calm down and stop engaging with the conversation. I wasn't condescending or being in awe. I was calm and just trying to calm her down. But the second I said that she looked at me and said, Are you seriously not going to fucking defend me right now? And left the house. She is at her mom's with the kids. My mom says I shouldn't have said anything. I Ada? I Ada for not wanting my daughter's half sister to come to her sweet 16? I, 46 female, have four kids, Caleb. 18 male, Bailey. Almost 16 female, Jacob. 13 male, and Sophia. 9 female, with my ex-husband Mike, 47 male. Mike and I got divorced 7 years ago when I found he was having an affair and fathered another child outside of our marriage. I was the breadwinner in the family and got a promotion after my divorce, which required me to move out of state with my children. My children see their father during school breaks. He's not with his affair partner but they have joint custody and he has his other daughter Bella, 8 female, half of the week. He does not make a lot of money but does pay me court-ordered child support. My daughter is having a sweet 16 on New Year's Eve when she comes back from her dad's for Christmas break. Her dad couldn't financially contribute to the sweet 16 so I paid for the whole thing alone but I told my ex he could come. I have also invited his family members as well. 
Last night my ex called and wanted to know if he could bring Bella. I said I would think about it but honestly I didn't feel comfortable with it. I have never met my his other child but seeing my ex is upsetting enough without having to see the physical embodiment of his affair. I know she's a child and it's not her fault how she got here, and I also know that she is my children's half-sister so I asked Bailey if she wanted her to come. She said it didn't really matter to her and they're not close because of the age difference. She also said Sophia has some sort of sibling rivalry with her so she'd rather not deal with that on her day. I explained all the reasons to my ex this morning and let him know I was not comfortable with it. He blew up on me and said I was taking my anger out on a little girl and making the rift between her and our children worse. He then started ranting about how it's my fault that Caleb doesn't talk to him because of the affair. I didn't even know and how Bella is upset because my kids have more things and better clothes than she does. I responded that none of those things were my problem. He said that he has Bella that weekend so if she can't come come, he won't be able to make it. I told him that he was making a choice not to find other arrangements and he was making a choice not to come to Bailey's sweet 16, so he needed to be the one to let her know he wasn't coming. He's saying I'm the asshole for forcing his hand and that I could just invite Bella. So I ate a? I ate a for not taking responsibility for my grandson. I, 50 female, have a daughter, Susan, 29, who with her husband have a very nomadic lifestyle. They live hotel to hotel all around the world. They both work remotely and make enough to support their life. I fully support Susan following her dreams but always felt it wouldn't be a forever thing. Eventually they would pick a place to live and take vacations less frequently. Due to the fact that they are rarely in the country, we don't get to see each other in person often. One of the few chances was earlier this year, I think February. I asked if she planned to settle down anytime soon. She said that was between her and her husband and seemed annoyed. I told that if she does then she should tell me and I would help her with her house deposit then dropped the subject. With Thanksgiving coming soon, Susan came to stay with us a while. At a family dinner she said that she would start settling down. I was excited for her and asked if she had a place in mind, she did, a house in the neighboring city. It was closer than I thought she would want. I asked why and she said so that we could could visit more often. She asked if I was still going to help with the deposit, I told her yes. She asked if I could also help with baby supplies as they don't have much savings. I was confused at what baby until she made another announcement that she was pregnant. I congratulated her when she gave me a list of all the things she would need for her pregnancy and the baby's first year. I told her that I would try and get some things from the list by the baby shower. She replied that she would need all of those things and if I was going to pressure her into a pregnancy, I should at least take responsibility. I was confused until through further argument I realized that she took my questions about settling down as asking for grandkids. When I told her there might be a misunderstanding, she interrupted and said she would also need me to babysit. I have some health complications that make watching a child a bad idea. I explained that to her but she said she and he husband would be busy and she doesn't want her baby with strangers. I apologized but told her I couldn't do it. She and her husband left and stayed at a hotel. I then wake up to many missed calls and texts from relatives and find out she had posted on social media that I had forced to have a child earlier than she wanted and refused to help with it. She was saying the baby ruined her life and she didn't know what to do. So I ate a? Uh? 